Hey, welcome to the um, the Facebook Live and the podcast. I'm Social Little Man Joey Little. Special guest star today. It's kind of like back in the 70s. I don't think you're old enough to know this, but back in the 70s, they used to have these uh, sitcoms like Fantasy Island. Mm-hmm. I don't know if those are sitcoms, but they'd have like special guest star and they'd have like these huge stars that would come on these little shows. That's kind of what's happening today. Sally Ulianich. Ulianich. <laughs> Ulianich. I get it wrong every time. <laughs> Joining us on the Facebook Live, if you don't know Sally, then uh, something wrong with you. Sally uh, is, a, is an employee here at uh, Auto Alerts and is currently based out of where you're out of? Uh, Tacoma, Washington, just south of Seattle. Lizelle says hello. Kevin Campbell's in the room. Hi, guys. What's up? Starts out slow, but the podcast you can see over to the right. Not a lot of people get to see the behind the scenes, mm-hmm. but uh, here's to the right is uh, the podcast going on. It's very exciting. It is very exciting. <laughs> It's a big deal in here, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You like the lights? There's lights. I added the lights today. Camera. Kenny camera. says, what's up? Lee hey, says, Kenny. hi. Hey, Lee. So people from all around the country, even we get some people from Germany, some England, some UK, that kind of stuff, mm-hmm. uh, uh, but mostly uh, United States, but everywhere. Um, and uh, these are exciting. These are good. And then the podcast gets po- uh, pushed. It's on iTunes. It's on uh, Google Play Store with podcasts. Also on YouTube. Also on SoundCloud. Even on Pinterest. So tell everybody a little bit, because tell me a little bit about your back. I know your background, mm-hmm. but uh, tell me your, your background when it comes to, to social media. Uh, to social media. So, well, I have a background. Uh, I've done over a decade in marketing. I've worked in automotive. I worked for uh, this company for uh, just going on two years. Um, I managed our social media site at uh, at a dealership. What was the name of your group, group or can you say it? Uh, yeah, it was uh, Quorum Automotive Group in Puyallup, Washington. So um, Puyallup. Puyallup. I know that was that was a mouthful. Sally Ulianich in Puyallup, Washington. There's a, a lot of uh, Williams there, but. Um, you got to answer the questions as they come in, too. It's kind of hard because okay. you just can't run it. These guys that are watching the <laughs> Facebook Live, you've been on the other side of this Facebook yeah. Live, right? you got to hit it. The first question comes through. First of all, all right. somebody calling you out by your name, which is that, that's oh, not your Twitter Drew. name. Hey, Drew. Drew says, uh, Sally Pants, Lizelle wants to know if I smell good. Um, I can't tell. <laughs> he doesn't smell bad. Don't smell bad. So, no. So uh, digital marketing, mm-hmm. social marketing at a uh, dealer group in uh, Puyallup, Washington. Mm-hmm. And then you came on to uh, Motifuse and then later on to Auto Alert. Yes. So you and I go back. How far did we go back? Oh, what, four or five years, something like that? Four or five years. Mm-hmm. Um, I do have to get you a little bit. See, look over here on the podcast. Oh, okay. See, mine are here. Okay. There's you. Okay. Soft talker. But you're not usually a soft talker. You're not. Look, are you nervous? <laughs> Are you nervous? I mean, who cares? It's you know, I know who cares. All these people guys. are your friends. Everybody's your friend on you. Are you? Are you not? Here's what we do. This is how we show love for all of you that are watching right now that are Sally's friends and she has no reason to be nervous. Please tap the hearts, tap the thumbs up, tap whatever you want. Just so and there's like a there's like a delay here. It's like a 20 second delay before you start mm-hmm. seeing it. Whoa, it was a quicker delay or a less of a delay. Look at them going up. You see that? So it's like five seconds, five <laughs> or right. ten seconds. All right. And I'm trying not to tap the desk, too. I got my arms like behind. And all these rules okay. that I had to tell Sally beforehand, and there's something you just don't tell Sally because she'll focus on them, right? <laughs> I'm good. You focus I'm on good. them. I'm good. All right. So when did we meet? Five years ago? Something like that. Uh, and it wasn't you and I didn't actually meet. Actually, well, yeah, yeah, yeah. Were you, were my you first... at the Seattle Digital Dealer Conference? No. So so this is kind of a, a weird story, but my first... My first week at the dealership, my manager told me um, she had met you at a digital dealer a while back, and she said, you know, since you're going to be doing social media here at um, at the dealership, and we were a Vin Solutions customer, so, um, hey, Kenny, yep, I met Kenny. Um, uh, she said... So Joey is OCD. Um, Am I OCD? Yeah. <laughs> 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 so I was with Vin Solutions. I'm so sorry you were know. you were with Vin Solutions. We were a Vin Solutions customer. That company. And um, so and she had met you. She thought you were amazing. And she said, "Hey, you got to introduce yourself to this Joey Little guy." Had her fooled, didn't I? <laughs> um, you know, he he knows everything about social media. He'll teach you everything you need to know. So I did. I reached out and um, and I, so I think the way. Is my, this where it gets confusing? Well, kind of. So, so, so I think I emailed you. So you instantly, being who you are, you friended me on Facebook. So was, was that like, creepy? No, it was. It was kind of cool. I was like, oh, he's social, so I'm gonna be social too. 
And then... Uh, well, Zell is saying that my adult ten, uh, de- uh, attention deficit disorder is different than the OCD. Mixture so, of both? So, yeah. All right. <laughs> so anyway, I added you on Facebook because that's my number one way that I communicate. And it's been yeah. that way for like five years. Yeah. Um, but I think also at the time, well, I'm probably still now. Don't don't look it up, people. But I think I have. Well, it's if, like creepy. If you're, if you're my Facebook friend, um, I think you also have access to my cell phone number. Just because like if. I didn't call you. You called me on my cell phone at like 630 in the morning. I not, did? Yeah, not realizing. Um, what did I call you for? I don't know. The follow up. Be like, you're, oh, you're like, because I'm a follow up I know, guy. I know. But it does, it could come across as creepy. That's what I wanted to talk about a little bit today and get your opinion on it. Because there's only so much that a 42 year old bearded man can say, <laughs> chubby bearded man can say about being creepy on the internet. Mm-hmm. Because I don't think I'm being creepy. And, and I hear things like that and I'm just like cringeworthy. No, no, I, I don't, no, no, it wasn't, it wasn't, it wasn't weird. You just, you just didn't realize that time difference but anyway so so creeper we... i'm getting called a creeper, <laughs> a creeper. but mabel's saying i follow up all day yeah <laughs> exclamation mark yeah so um yeah so we got to know each other for for a couple years and then when you left bin solutions i thought well that's kind of that's kind of crazy because he loves bin solutions i mean he has the bin tattoo so this motor fuse company must be something really really special if he's you know leaving for for um for that so I um, I checked out. I look like. Don't look at the screen. Sorry. Don't like. There's a lot of stuff going on behind Sorry. the scenes here that's going to distract her. Um. <laughs> so yeah. So just. Uh, so, so anyway. So. So this isn't a 40 minute video. We'll just. Okay. So, that was it. So so um, <laughs> so I checked out Modo Fuse because I thought, well, we use Vin Solutions. Maybe we'll use Vin, uh, Modo Fuse as well. And I saw they were hiring freelance writers. And I was like, hey, I have a degree in journalism. I know automotive. You think that's something I can do on the side? He's like, yeah, absolutely. Go for it. Did so, I hire you? No, Marla did. Marla hired you. Yeah. So. But Marla worked for me. <laughs> so it kind of was. Here, can I get a disclaimer here first? Sally and I, um, we are personally personal friends, correct? Yes, yes. And you would say we're good friends. Yeah, we're Yeah, tight. so yeah. I bust your chops all day long. <laughs> Online, in person, it's just what I do. <laughs> Sally takes it and doesn't bust me back, but then tells me I'm too mean to her. So, <laughs> I true. love, I love that Mabel says I'm like a cat. <laughs> you no are. I, I, so, I, what I, I want to talk about today. So, that's yeah. a great story. That was a great, great, long story. Long <laughs> story that um, didn't really have any meaning. Well, actually, real quick though, but the but when I gave my notice, it was kind of cool telling her like, hey, you know, I mean it. I was excited for this new opportunity, but then also to tell her, like, you know who hired me? <laughs> Joey Little, the one you told me to meet, so. Was she mad? No, she's excited. She's excited. She me, should so. be. Two years yeah. now. No, I just yeah. drooled. All right, so what I'm going to talk about today, because you are, you are a, an opinionated person when it comes to online, when it comes to social, right? Yes. You give your opinions the way that other people act when you're on, uh, uh, on online. By the way, mm-hmm. shiny nickel syndrome. Mm-hmm. Is, that, is that like Sh- ADD? Shiny, shiny anything. Mm-hmm. Um. Uh, Kevin Burns says, I'm actually jealous, Sally. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what he's jealous about, but uh, uh, but anyway, what are some of the things that you're seeing? Because I know that you're connected with a lot of car dealers that are online. You're, you're, you're connected with a lot of people that sell things online. Mm-hmm. What are your top, let's get into your top three things that really bother you. And then let's talk about some three things that you see really working. Uh-huh. Um, well, initially, when, when, when we brought you on to Motofuse, you're a writer. But when we brought you on full time because you were a contract writer, mm-hmm. I wanted you to start this department called the Brand Impact Managers. And those were people that were working with dealerships across the country mm-hmm. and doing social content for them uh, with a tool that we had built and we still have to this day that creates, I mean, it's a really, you think it's the best in the market? It's it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's really cool. So uh, from that, you're very, um, very opinionated when you see other people doing things that you know just does not work. Mm-hmm. So what are your, what are, what are three things? And you can talk about pages. Um, I think he is jealous because he has man envy. Oh, she's Not, talking about somebody else yeah. in the group. Uh, watch. By the way, um, if you want to join the Facebook Lives on the podcast or if you're watching this on YouTube, it's facebook.com forward slash social little man. We'd love to connect with you. Uh, moving forward, what do you see? It doesn't necessarily have to be three, but okay. what, do you, what do you see that's driving you crazy? Okay. So, uh, so on a personal branding level... Um, I think it's I think it's really important for people to share uh, their profession on on social media, um, but there's a there's a an appropriate way to do it, 
and I think what a lot of people do is they're it's it's kind of like sell 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 buy 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 all of that like kind of really in your face. Um, it's one thing to share your product online and your business and information, but I think it's going to be a lot more effective if you share something interesting or exciting or useful that's going to get people's attention, um, especially in automotive, because people are only in the market to buy a vehicle, um, what, like... 36 if, months. Yeah, and and what, at any given time, I think about 11% of the population is in the market for a vehicle. Um, they just may not know it. There's a, a larger percentage that doesn't know they're in the 20% market. 20% of the uh, customers you have in your database can trade keys with you today if you exact, just knew that. Just look your well, nose. Right? There's that part, too. But, uh, so, I told Oh, so so you're gonna have to keep them. You're gonna have to keep them. Can you uh, say it? Can you shorten it up? What you're trying to say? Bye, bye, bye from me now, please. Well, yeah, right. I, yeah, yeah. Kenny's awesome. Um, so, are you losing train of thought? I'm so distracted. Are okay. you? What are you distracted by? What can I shut down or change behind the scenes okay. here? I'm just. I'm gonna. By the way, Heather's saying she appreciates your views. Move me over. Lizelle says true, but people like to connect with personal side of who you are. It's mm -hmm. huge to me. Mabel says, I agree to try to do that with my post. You need to connect with Mabel, by the way, if you're not connected. You're not connected with Mabel. You have to, and Lizelle, and Heather. Uh, you need to make it personable, rea um, relatable, like, oh, my God, do I want that new Volvo uh, XC90? So mm -hmm. what's well, distracting you? And then, well, What's distracting you before no, we move no, forward? I'm, I'm focused. I'm focused All right, now. Let's see how, let's see how long it goes. I'm focused now. Um, uh, something else that, that people need to focus on is... Uh, and, and especially me in particular, I'm friends with a ton of people in automotive, a ton of people trying to sell cars. So why should why should I choose one person over another? That's that's another um, big thing that I I think people should uh, should really put some focus into is why buy from me? What am I going to do for you? What, why what type, buy factor? Yes. What 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 type of service am I going to give to you? Am I a am I a good person? Am I going to follow through with my promises? Am I going to take care of you? Um, that's um, so. What what can show that? What can show the the why buy factor for you? You personally, you can't answer for anybody else, right? Well, well, I'm going to take um, one of our viewers right now as an example, uh, Mr. Kenny Landrum. Um, he's always posting videos about with his customers and having them give these these uh, video testimonials all the time. Um, and I, you know, I've, I've met him in person. I've spent some time with him. He's a very nice, genuine person. And that comes across in his posts. It's not always, Hey, come, come buy this car for me. Um, but here, here's another satisfied customer. Here's what I did for this person. Here's a situation that maybe was a little difficult for a customer, but I helped them out. I helped them, you know, get them in a new vehicle. So I think that's going to be far more effective than, hey, we're having another big tent sale. Come on down. Um, so that, uh, I would say, um, that's my number one, I guess. So the why by effect. And it's right. got to be open with you. What do you want to see that's a personal thing? What 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 attaches? And let's just not car. Let's just not talk cars because there's so right. many other verticals that are out there. Thank David Villa. If you guys aren't subscribed to David Villa's uh, uh, Facebook Lives, he's got some great ones too. He's in the he's in the uh, comments here. I love what he's doing also. Um, and I'm, they're saying that I'm being distracting to you. So you notice that I kind of went over here. And by the way, I sent a friend request suggestion between you and Mabel. I'll oh, do okay. with other people are in here. She's the one who called me cat like. So that was so cool. cat like. <laughs> Yeah. Are you cat like? I am cat like. So, what is the why by factor with you? What do you want to see a salesperson post to social? And I'm talking small ticket, large ticket, whatever it is. What is it? If it's a, a vendor or whatever, because I get hit with vendors all mm -hmm. day too, with being a vendor to a vent to to a business. But what is it? What you want to see? I want to see, you know. Chances are, you're not the only person selling what you're selling or doing what you're doing. So. You need to let people know what's what separates you from from everybody else who's doing what you're doing, how you're going to serve your customers, how you have served your customers. You hearing the alarms outside? Yeah. It goes off every time I do a Facebook Live. There's like cars, <laughs> uh, ambulances, and stuff that go by. Um, what do you, do? Do you use social for you to sell yourself? Because you're not in sales, right. but we're all in sales. If you work for a company. You're in sales. You agree with that? Yeah. yeah. It's, uh, I mean, that's not a salesperson. It says, I mean, everybody. I mean, marketing, sales, operations, where you're at. What do you do? Mm -hmm. Short. Give us a short version of what you do for Auto Alert. Uh, I'm a, uh, a. You're shaking. 
Are you oh, bouncing? Oh, sorry, now? I'm bouncing. <laughs> I'm, I'm amped up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm. I'm still on Pacific time, so it's it's still fairly. So early. what do you do? So I'm a uh, I'm a product training manager for Auto Alert. I uh, I do fun things like write our training manuals and create some. <laughs> Fun. <laughs> I, I enjoy it. Somebody's got to do it, so I enjoy it. Do you talk about the products online? Do you talk about Auto Alert through your own social channels? I do, and I will. I will admit, I have cut back a little bit. I did. Um, I did hear that uh, that when my friends unfollowed me, didn't unfriend me, just unfollowed me because she thought I talked about work a little much. Too I, much. Yeah. So I, I've 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 cut back a little bit, but that's not going to stop me. Um, you know, I've got I've got a lot going on right now. Going back through your posts on Facebook know, right now, and I'm not seeing anything. I sh well, I share I share yours. So yeah, so I that, I share that's yours. cool. I share um, I do share um, actually I share a ton of our stuff to Twitter and then also to LinkedIn as well. So so that's where you're going to see more of the work related. Uh, and you're not in a position where you're selling products. I'm in a position right. that you know um, I'm leadership on our marketing team here at. Uh, Auto alerts, um, mm -hmm. and uh, it is my job to create leads and create excitement about what we're doing here to people that do sell cars, people that do run dealerships, people that want to make more money, people that want to sell more. Mm -hmm. um, that is my job. People ask Joey, "What do you do?" Have you ever had that question? Yeah, and it's it's kind of like, well, I do a little bit of this, a little bit. <laughs> no, of that. you have you ever has people ever asked you that, or is that just a question coming Me? from you? Oh no, yeah. People have I asked you or <laughs> asked you that? like, what does Joey actually do? Oh yeah. Does it really come up? Did you have any answer to him? <laughs> no answer. He just, he no just, clue. He just is. He is. He has his podcast and he he does he does important things. He has speaking he engagements. He does important things. <laughs> uh, I'm so glad to hear that. <laughs> no. Nobody at Auto Learn knows what Joey does. I'm good with that. <laughs> yeah. I'm good with that. It's job uh, security. I can't fly, get fired for something that I'm not fire. supposed to be, right? <laughs> yeah. Um let's get back to let's get back to the personal side of things mm -hmm. too. Um when uh what about pages? What are you seeing now with Facebook pages? And what do you what do you say to the people uh two questions here. Mm -hmm. he, I don't know what he does either. Nobody knows. What's up John? Thanks for joining today. Uh we know what you do. That's what he's saying. <laughs> Poke Sally today. You're going to get a lot of pokes today. Group like Oh. You just say it. I just no. I just <laughs> discovered somebody waved at me through Facebook. That's kind of cool. It's kind of creepy. If if you have your location services turned on, um, on your mobile app, and you can see like who's nearby, um, there's an option to wave at them. So I got I got two waves last night from. from but Kansas it's City. it's cute when you do it. I mean, you're a, you know, if you agree with me here, give me a <laughs> thumbs up or give me a heart. It's okay because Sally, you are you are a beautiful woman, right? Great smile. So when you do it, it's like, oh, that's so sweet. Like Sally's waving at me. I do it, and it's like, what? It's the whole fact that you ever when you're sitting in your car, and I think this happens on live too. Uh, he keeps it live and keeps morale up. That's my job here. Um, we got one thumbs up, so only one person thinks you're beautiful besides me. Um, so sorry. I thought it was going to be no, more than that. Okay. I, I, I got high, I got high enough self esteem. I'm I'm cool. When you're sitting in a in a in a in, when you're sitting in an intersection and you look and you look up to your um, look to your right and there's a person in the car next to your right and, uh, as a woman and the guy is beautiful. He's a good looking guy. Look at all the hearts and stuff <laughs> now. That's awesome. You guys are awesome. <laughs> and if he's attractive and he looks at you and he's like, hey, what's up? You know, yeah. and smiles. And you, you feel good inside, you drive to work, like, oh my God, this really hot guy, like, waved at me from an intersection. It was so, oh my God, I, like, I didn't know what to do, right? That's one factor. Totally different guy, a guy that looks like me, pulls up next to you at an intersection and leans over and goes, hey, how you doing? Oh my God, what the, oh, what a creepy, you know what I mean? And it happens online as well. You have all these different things you can do online, like poking. You uh -huh. poke somebody, it's like, oh my God, Stanley poked me. I poke somebody, he's like, what, it, <laughs> what is going on? What the hell? So, I uh, lies. I smile and I get a stank oh, eye. Well, maybe I think it's bull. Um, love the voice, Joey Little. It's awesome. I feel like this is my voice of uh, the average person. In it, creepers are going to creep. So, how does that? How does that come across online? I mean, you got to get creeped out online. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I do. Yeah, I do. Uh, I do periodically. What creeps you out? Uh, well, I think like I'm. I'm pretty. I'm pretty open about uh what's what's going on in my life um i will say uh, Dave Villa says you have to watch who you poke 
Can I interrupt you just one second? What yeah. I heard, and you're gonna appreciate this. So years ago, this is in 2011. I I heard in one of these, uh, 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 and I'm gonna get right back to your story here about mm -hmm. what what you find creepy. They said uh, the 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 consultant that was talking to a room full of dealers said, if you want to get the attention of a customer on Facebook, mm -hmm. you have to poke them. And he said that he pokes up to 25 to 75 people per day. Now to me and to who I've talked to out there and what I've seen, mm -hmm. when somebody re receives a poke, you naturally think that person wants to sleep with you. Yeah? Or, or, <laughs> or, or they're just, or, or they're just like, like if I poke like uh, Lauren, you know, in, in support here, like if I, if I poke her, like it just, then like, he doesn't. we're if, just, we're just being, but if you funny. poke me, if I know you, but if this is a yeah. salesperson yeah. somewhere yeah. that's poking, um, polite asking to interrupt. <laughs> Up the time. So go back to your story about what you find um, what you find creepy. Okay, so so I, I will say I'm pretty I'm pretty open about about uh, what's going on in my life. Um, I I do have I do have some separate audiences depending on what I want to share. So I don't like overwhelm people or you know like I love cats. So um, I have I have cat people. I have a cat people audience. So if I'm sharing a bunch of cat stuff, I'll just switch it to my cat people audience. Um, but for the most part, I just thank God I'm not in that. Audience. I just you're not you're not. So I just I just try to keep what I put on there pretty you know family friendly. You know I'm I'm friends with our CEO and tons of coworkers. So I always try to keep it appropriate. But you know I share about my life on there. And so I think I think what happens is when you are you know friends with people on social media and you see their daily life, you kind of feel like you know them. <laughs> Better than you do. Read the bottom one. My my cat is named Kitty Smalls. She's a gangster. Oh man, Maylee and I are gonna be good friends. <laughs> I'm gonna poke you after this. Um, so uh, so I think I think you because you see their daily lives, their posts, their photos, their face even on there. Like like I'm afraid I'm gonna be walking through a grocery store someday and see a child. And because I've seen their face on uh, on Facebook so many times, like I'm gonna recognize that child, and like, oh, that's this person's kid. But that's that that would be creepy. Like I wouldn't just go up and talk to somebody's kid. But you get you you get that feeling of familiarity with people um, that you don't you don't really know. So you feel closer to them than you actually are. So I think that. Um, Do you agree with John Tota? A poke is a cheap way of getting out there. If you want to make sales, you got to go talk to the client, not just poke. Yeah, talk. To, don't poke them. Talk to them, please. <laughs> don't poke them. Please talk to them. Pokes are over. Yes. What don't. about? Yeah. And some people think there's poke wars, which is where one person pokes you, you have to poke them back, and then just goes on for months and years and nothing to it. So yeah, that's yeah, that's different though. Next question. Yes. Uh, salesperson. Uh, hold on. I'm also friends with my CEO. Mabel is all about this. You guys, I'm seeing new BFFs here. I know. Totally fangirl about him. Oh, Lex. Uh, but I keep my social media clean. Mm -hmm. um, Facebook page versus a, a using your personal profile when it comes to social selling. Mm -hmm. Give me the give me what your view on that is. Um, well, first, I, I think it's important to have a Facebook page just to establish your business there, have your contact information, your hours, um, and I think it's important to keep a steady stream of content to that Facebook page. Uh, something interesting, helpful, useful. Uh, funny, anything to just keep your uh, the people on your page engaged uh, because they're not going to be buying from you uh, all the time. So you need something to keep them, uh, a reason for them to, to continue to follow your page um, even when they're not in the market for whatever you're selling. Um, something that, that does, I think, work pretty well is, is, if, um, is if somebody, like um, if you're an author or whatever, you have a business, to periodically share posts from your page to your personal account. It's kind of a reminder that, hey, I also have this page. If you don't like it, you know, if you don't like it yet, you know, and you want to, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Um, just a reminder that, oh yeah, there's this page there because, um, you know, most of your audience is not actually gonna see all those posts that you share on your- Most? Um, how about all? How about, yeah, so I mean, I, I, I don't have the stats now. I think you said it's down to what, 1% organic reach. Um, but I mean, even if we're being generous and saying, you know, two to 4% organic reach, that's it. Um, unless you wanna pay to boost your post. And, and I think that's effective as well. Can you say V Gates, Klaus? V Gates, Klaus? You know what that means? Klaus from Germany just joined us. Hola. 
No, it's not hola. That's Spanish. <laughs> the gates. The gates, no. Klaus. So, so I see what you're saying. This is long. So, do you have a Facebook page for what you do? Anything that you do? Um, I've got, I've got, I've got several Facebook pages. You do? <laughs> I do. I have several. Klaus says he's perfect. <laughs> I have uh, I have several Facebook pages, but I do run a couple Facebook pages for um, for friends. Um, one really fun one. My uh, one of my my one of my best friends is a uh, she has her own dog grooming business, and uh, so that's a really fun one for me to run. Um, just sharing a bunch of dog you know funny dog stuff videos and all of that, and um, and her page does quite well. So um, that's actually where I think. One of the ways she's gotten a good chunk of her business is through through her Facebook page. But that's also advertising as well. John's going to go back to work, so we're losing some people. Right. It's fine. More people popping in here. Know. With Sally uh, Yulianich, said it right that time, uh, from uh, Auto Alert, also to Tacoma, Washington. But you have uh, some cool news, some personal news. You want to do you want to do it here? I do. Um, yeah. Uh, one of the reasons I'm out here, besides um, testing one of our new pro products, uh, Pando, which is going to be amazing it's been a lot of fun with that um, so uh, I'm actually I'm moving out here so I'm out here looking for a house so um, yeah so this week has been kind of we're in Kansas City by the way if yeah, anybody Kansas saw. yeah so I'm uh, Deborah says hello uh, Ricky oh, says hey, I try not to be overbearing I make sure that everyone knows I do make myself available that's how I sell cars people don't care uh, much People don't care how much you know. Uh, I can't read. I'm sorry. The lights are kind of blinding me here. Until People they don't. know how much you care. Right. So do you know who Ricky Doyle is? Uh, tell me. He's the guy I bought my Mustang from. And you know why I bought my Mustang from? Well, I used to work I used to work with him at the dealership. But um, he happened to post my dream car at the perfect moment. So I shot him a message that, hey, I want it. And so wait a minute. Ricky sold a car off Facebook? Yes. <laughs> Ricky I didn't sold a car <laughs> off Facebook. Yes. Say that again. Ricky Doyle so sold me my dream car because of Facebook. How did you connect with Ricky before that? Why were you connected with the Ricky online? Because uh, we we used to work together at the dealership. So, okay. Um, so you know, and he he shares. Um, you yeah. Know, he shares. Klaus is a big Mustang fan, so I got to tell Klaus yesterday. What is it before you go forward with what you're saying? What, what what'd you buy? 2015 Ford Mustang Premium with the pony package. What color? It's uh, magnetic gray. Magnetic gray. <laughs> All right, because so so Ricky and you were connected somehow, yes. some way, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just it was just kind of perfect timing. I mean, he 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 typically sells trucks, uh, so so he shares a bunch of trucks and stuff. But um, he just you know he saw this this Mustang come in and thought, why not? I'll post it. And um, but it wasn't specifically to you. No, it was no, just a, no. a post. Did he no. post it through a page or did he post it through a um, a personal, uh, his personal account. He posted it to his, his personal account. And what was it he wrote on it? What, what was the caption or the, uh, what did he write? I don't Do you even remember? think I paid attention. I you just, just saw the I picture? Saw, I saw, I clicked, I said, I want. <laughs> so and then he made it, I, I went and picked it up the next day. So cool. Um, yeah. And, and he, and he made it easy for me. So, um, but yeah, he, he shares vehicles, um, Kevin says he sells cars all the time using custom audiences for CRM. I would assume that that's probably through a page that he's using there mm -hmm. uh, and then throws a little bit of money behind it. Mm -hmm. um, John wants to talk about the Seattle <laughs> Sounders. Ricky Doyle sold many cars on Facebook, and I am a top sales guy in our organization. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Sally. Jules is a bad mamma jamma. Mm -hmm. Who's Jules? Jules Winfield, my Mustang. Oh, that's the name. From I'm sorry. From Pulp Fiction. Gotcha. So here's the cool thing is that we are, we're, we're out of time. We're over time today. But it was really exciting. We're going to see if you can set the record on most views to the uh, to the videos, to the mm -hmm. Facebook Lives. I'm going to go ahead real quick before we go and look and see if the uh, what video still has the most views. At one time, it was uh, Bo Bachman from Galpin Ooh. Auto. Uh, from yeah. that, it went into... So let's take, take a look at Bo here. Bo is at uh, oh, 1,200 views. That's from October, though. Nice. He's much more famous than I am. And then we went into Sean Rains, oh, who had, uh, nope, Sean is not up there. And then there was Kenny, Kenny Landrum. Mm -hmm. Kenny did not get the record. Oh. So 1,200 views. And then there was a Facebook Live that involved uh, Kendall Billman, mm -hmm. uh, senior. Uh, uh, you, you can check these out too, but they're getting, everybody's uh, checking out. So Kendall is at, yep, Kendall's still in second place. So 1,200 views is what. 
you have to beat to have the number one. Now here's what's uh, cool about this, and I know you guys are taking off, we're gonna take off too, is that Sally moving to uh, Kansas City and being part of the Auto Alert uh, family here in Kansas City, even though she's part of the entire Auto Alert family, but now actually have people that live in the house with her, because now you've been working at home by yourself. You actually have to put, wear pants to work now. <laughs> Uh, I'd like to have you on more of these in the future. Um, mm -hmm. uh, we'll get you involved in these. If you'd like to see Sally on more of these uh, in the future, um, please leave a comment saying more Sally. Hashtag more Sally. Uh, mm -hmm. would like to see that. Put it on uh, uh, Twitter. Uh, hashtag more Sally. And uh, we'll get that involved. I think it'd be great. So the new office is going to be a bigger kind of studio area. It's going to be pretty awesome. So uh, remember, if you're listening to the podcast, you can follow the Facebook Lives at facebook.com forward slash social little man. Um, and uh, say hashtag meow Sally. You like that? <laughs> yes. All right. So you know, do you know what to say to leave to get out of this? Do oh. You, do you know what you're supposed to say? Keep smiling. No, nope, there's the first part. <laughs> have a have a great day. Have a great day. And and keep smiling.